So this is um, some seed from last year. We planted a little bit of cane last year so that I could have some seed. And I've been trying to separate the trash or chaff or husk off the seed from the actual seed so that it'll make planting a little easier. So I just rubbed it in my hands to loosen it and then poured it out in front of a fan and the husk uh, blew away and the, uh, the seed dropped down into the bucket. So today we're planting our sorghum. Um, we uh, planted one row last year and uh, saved the seed from it. And uh, so we got big plans this fall to have a, uh, a big molasses cooking. So we're gonna plant about 12 rows out here today. And we're using this push planter. We're just gonna plant one row per, we're not planting two rows per row, we're planting one row. So anyway, here we go. Just wanted to show you a little bit how, uh, or show you how this planter works. So it's basically a, a container right here that's mounted on wheels and it's uh, belt driven. So this front wheel turns a plate inside of it and you pour your seed in there and this plate has uh, holes in it. So every time Every time the wheel turns, seeds drop down into those holes and then they fall down this chute and there's a little plow on the bottom of it that plows a little furrow and the seeds drop down into the, uh, the furrow that it's made, that's made. So they say that uh, white dirt makes the best molasses, isn't that right? I know I've heard that a few times. So. Uh, we took the tractor this morning and we smoothed this garden uh, spot down. We just dissed over it and then we laid off some beds. And then we took the planter and planted into it. And uh, yeah, it takes about, uh, what do you say, five months? It takes five months for sorghum to mature. So today is Memorial Day, May the 27th. And we're hoping to harvest this uh, by the end of October.